This has been a pretty common AP question over the years, using a table to check your understanding of the derivative rules. So using the table below, we're going to uh, evaluate a couple derivatives just to kind of get you back on the swing of this. But you can see we've got x values 1 through 4, and we know uh, what f of 1 is, f prime of 1, g, and g prime, and so on. So it says if h of x equals f of x times g of x, find h prime of 2. Well, of course, it is a product. So the first thing we need to do is find h prime of x. So h prime of x, uh, would be first times derivative of the second plus second times derivative of the first. Okay, so that's our use of product rule. So then h prime of 2, h prime of 2 would be f of 2 and g prime of 2 plus g of 2 and f prime of 2. So I'm just going to basically go through and, uh, and write down what those are. Uh, f of 2 is 3. Okay, so I'm going to write 3 times g prime of 2 is 4. So we've got f of 2 times g prime of 2 plus g of 2, which is 0, and f prime of 2, which is 1. So we've got 12 plus 0. Final answer is 12. The next one, if j of x is equal to g of f of x, find j prime of 3. Well, here we've got a uh, composition, and we're putting f into g, so of course to find the derivative we're going to need to use chain rule. So j prime of x will be derivative of the outside, leave the inside alone, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside like that. So j prime of 3 will be g prime of f of 3 multiplied by f prime of 3. Well, f of 3 uh, is right here, right? f of 3 is 4, so let me rewrite this as just g prime of 4. So I'm just replacing the uh, f of 3 with what that's equal to, which is 4. f prime of 3 is 2, so I'm going to have g prime of 4 multiplied by 2. And g prime of 4, g prime of 4 is 1 half, so I have 1 half multiplied by 2, which is just 1.